revered Dr. William Carey was born in the year 1761 in rural Northamptonshire, England. He arrived in India on the 11th of November 1793 and initially tried to settle down in Calcutta but then moved on to North Bengal. He found it difficult for him to spread the Baptist mission in Calcutta which was then being dominated by other sects. So he settled for Surampur, which was then under the Danish rule. Carey has also been referred to as the father of Bengali prose for his grammars, dictionaries and translations. On the 10th of July 1800, Dr. Carey started the Surampur mission under the Baptist Missionary Society. There, he and Joshua Marshman and William Ward, collectively known as the Sirampur Trio, founded the mission described by the English philanthropist William Wilberforce as one of the chief glories of the British nation. On 5th of July 1818, Dr. Carey started the Sirampur College along with Joshua Marshman and William Ward. The main reason behind starting this college was to train the local indigenous population in theology so that they can become ministers. In 1827, the Sirampur College was granted a royal charter by Frederick VI, King of Denmark that allowed the college to grant a degree which was the first in Asia. Sirampur College suspended the Bishop's College which was then located in Shippur to grant theological degrees and became the sole college in the whole of South Asia to have that power. The other major accomplishment of Dr. Carey was the translation of the New Testament into Bengali language and then printing them for the first time in Sirampur where a printing press had been set up with the help of William Ward who was a printer. At a later stage this very printing press managed to print Bible in 44 different languages. William Carey was a great man whose knowledge was unmatchable. He knew 34 languages but dedicated his life to the Bangla language. Another interesting fact was the love for botany and Carey started a botanical garden in Sirampur which unfortunately no longer exists. It was located in the same premises where we now see India Jute Mill. So we started the life of a young man in the villages of north of London in England in the 1870s. And this young person was very interested in anything scientific. He used to collect beetles and flowers and plants and, and looked at trees when he was a young boy going around the villages in Northamptonshire. And his collection was so big that his sister later commented that it could hardly fit in his room. And then, through the discussions he had, he picked up his old um, hobby, if you like, to, to actually look at plants. And so he planted this botanical garden here at Sarampur. And he was in, in touch with many of the famous botanists, Roxburgh and Wallach and others overseas. And he decided in, that there was time to start an agriculture and horticultural society to be able to improve the, the fate of the peasants, to plant produce that they could um, commercially harvest and then sell on. So they were involved with hemp, they were involved with cotton, and later on the Agriculture and Horticulture Society went around North India to note which plants and trees and shrubs were growing. In 1820, Dr. William Carey founded the Agri Horticultural Society of India, located in Alipur, Kolkata, and also acted as a temporary caretaker of the botanical gardens in Shippur.
the friend of India, John Newton, the author of the famous hymn, Amazing Grace, wrote of Carrie, I look to such a man with reverence. He is more to me than the bishop or the archbishop. He is an apostle. Following the command of God for a comprehensive mission to India, Dr. William Carey captured the Christian meaning of the term apostle, someone sent out with Christ's purpose. Mm -hmm.